Once upon a time, in a small village nestled amidst rolling hills and crystal clear lakes, there lived a wise old Zen master named Haruki. He was known throughout the land for his profound teachings and his ability to inspire others with his wisdom. One sunny morning, as Haruki was taking a leisurely walk along the lakeshore, he noticed a young boy struggling to free a small bird that had become entangled in a thorny bush. The boy seemed desperate, tugging at the branches with all his might, but the bird remained trapped. Moved by compassion, the Zen master approached the boy and gently placed a hand on his shoulder. Dear child, he said, I see that you're trying to help this bird. But sometimes, our actions are not enough on their own. Instead, let us create a ripple of kindness that can touch the lives of many. Curious, the boy looked up at the wise master. But how can we do that? He asked, his eyes filled with innocence. Haruki smiled warmly and replied, We will begin by gathering a few pebbles from the lakeshore. Each pebble will represent an act of kindness. Excited, the boy eagerly joined the Zen master in collecting smooth, rounded pebbles of different shapes and sizes. They carefully arranged them in a small woven basket, which the boy carried with great pride. Now, Haruki continued, we will embark on a journey to spread these acts of kindness. Remember, my child, that every action, no matter how small, has the power to make a difference. Together, they ventured into the village, their hearts filled with a deep sense of purpose. They visited the local market, where they offered smiles and kind words to the vendors. The villagers, surprised by their warmth, reciprocated with acts of kindness of their own. As they continued their journey, the boy and the Zen master encountered a tired old woman struggling to carry a heavy load of firewood. Without hesitation, they rushed to her aid, helping her carry the burden to her humble cottage. The woman's eyes twinkled with gratitude, and she, too, joined the ever-expanding ripple of kindness. News of their selfless deeds began to spread throughout the village. Inspired by their actions, villagers began to help one another, fostering a sense of unity and interconnectedness. Soon, the ripple of kindness extended beyond the village. Traveling to neighboring towns, the boy and the Zen master shared their pebbles of kindness, igniting a chain reaction of compassion and love wherever they went. People began to realize that they were not alone, that their actions mattered, and that the world could be a better place if they chose kindness. Years passed, and the boy grew into a young man, guided by the teachings of the wise Zen master. Together, they had created a vast tapestry of interconnectedness, woven with countless acts of kindness. In time, the boy became a master in his own right, sharing the wisdom he had learned with others. The ripple of kindness they had set in motion continued to expand, touching lives far and wide. And so, dear friends, let this story remind us that a single act of kindness has the power to create ripples that transcend time and space. Each one of us has the ability to make a difference, no matter how small our actions may seem. By embracing the interconnectedness of all beings and fostering compassion in our hearts, we can join the Zen ripple effect and create a world filled with love and harmony. Remember, the smallest pebble can create the mightiest waves.